All right, good evening, YouTubers. Uh, out in the garage here on Friday night, and it's pouring rain outside. So, uh, eh, life in Florida, I guess. Uh, working on a project here, actually kind of planning. Um, I need to buy some parts. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is I need to buy. Um, prior to the hurricane, I was able to get a new generator that's much larger than my old generator. So that's a you know, 7,500 watt, uh, I guess it's 93, 75 starting watts. Uh, that's really 7,500, which if you do the math, it's a 30 amp generator. Um, so it has a 30 amp, uh, 220 volt or 230 volt, two phase um, out, output. And I need to try to figure out how to interface that generator to my uh, input that I have in my garage here. So I can back feed the house during a power outage. So my old generator had a different plug, so of course I had a different cable. And now um, I've got to get my cable situation uh, figured out such that you know, the next time the power goes out, I can easily get the generator up and running and plug it into my uh, power inlet on the wall over there by the uh, by the power panel and uh, get up and running. So I bought one cable on Amazon. I'll show you that here in just a second. And I was trying to figure out how to, to interface it to my, my old cable. Uh, problem being here is I got a 30 amp output on the generator, which is a four prong twist lock connector. It's kind of standard for a 30 amp generator, but my wall outlet is actually a 50 amp input because the folks that owned the house before us had a much larger generator. They had like a 14 kW generator that had a 50 amp output. Now, um, obviously I'd like to have a 50 amp uh, output on my generator, but uh, those generators are very expensive and it is what it is. So I, I, I've got 30 amps, so I, I need to go to a thir from a 30 amp output on the generator to a 50 amp input on my wall. Um, so what that looks like is, uh, here's the 30 amp plug uh, that plugs into the generator. So I think you can probably see that. It's a four prong twist lock. Right. And on my wall, I have a female 50 amp plug that accepts a connector like this, which you would find typically on a electric range. Uh, it's got three straight plugs and then your ground here. So um, I need to go from um, actually the female side of my 30 amp plug and then I need to get to this male input connector for my wall. So the, the problem I've run into is I thought it was as simple as buying a, uh, a male plug, 30 amp plug, and wiring it onto the leads on this end of the 50 amp cable. And that would plug into the female side of the 30 amp cable. Well, not so simple, turns out, just like everything. Uh, the connectors that you can buy, um, I believe it's an L14, uh, L14P, I believe, plug, right? plug in. Uh, you can buy them, obviously, um, for 15 bucks or whatever online, but they only accept 10 gauge wire because they're set up for 30 amps. Um, Problem being, this cable for the range and for the connector is a 50 amp cable. So it's actually got two conductors that are six gauge, and the other two conductors are eight gauge, all of which are too big to go into a 30 amp plug. Uh, the 30 amp plugs only accept 10 gauge wire, up to 10 gauge wire. So I need 10 gauge, uh, which I don't have in this cable. So this, basically, this dryer outlet plug that I have here is garbage. I can't use it. 
So what I need to do is make a pigtail that's maybe, uh, you know, anywhere from a foot to two foot long. It has a male 50 amp plug, uh, four, four position plug on the one end, and I need a male 30 amp plug on the other end, and that will allow me to connect to my extension cable that I have here. To the wall. So, um, been doing a little bit of research, and I think what I'm going to have to do is buy some SO cord, a couple of feet of SO cord, 10 gauge cord, um, and then buy both connectors. I'll get the 50 amp connector on the one end and wire that up, and then I'll get the 30 amp male connector on the other end. And wire that up. Reason being, they don't sell the cable that I'm trying to make here, and they don't sell it for a reason because it's not really safe to have. A, it's, it's basically called a suicide cord, right? Um, people that aren't smart, I guess you would say, um, could end up hurting themselves if they try to do stuff like this. But um, I actually know quite a bit about electricity. Um, electronics and whatnot and I'm not a moron I'm not gonna blow myself up but having a cable with a mail in on both ends is an absolute no-no and the other no-no is uh, 50 amp on one end and 30 amp on the other uh, that's another no-no so what I'm trying to buy here doesn't exist for a reason um, they don't want people uh, they don't want liability for people electrocuting themselves but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I'm going to buy me a couple of feet of SO cord 10 gauge. I'm going to buy the 50 amp plug for the one end. I'm going to wire it up. And then on the other end, I'm going to buy the male 30 amp plug. And I'm going to wire that up. And uh, I just need to go online and pick the parts out. So let me uh, kind of show you what I'm dealing with here. And then I'll fire up my iPad here and maybe show you a couple of the parts that I'm going to end up uh, looking at and buying tonight and then I'll come back in a later video after I get this thing built or maybe I'll do a video of the cable build and then kind of show how it all hooks up so uh, one second alright so here we are at the generator and you can see here if I stop shaking the camera around uh, it's got a 240 volt 30 amp connector so what that looks like is right here Let's see if I can get shadow away from it it's a four prong twist lock 30 amp plug All right. so I need to go from that plug over here my generator plug which is a 50 amp four prong plug so I gotta go male to male which is an absolute no-no for two reasons male to male is a no-no never supposed to do that in a cable and the second thing is, is you're never supposed to go from 30 amps to 50 amps or 50 amps to 30 amps All right. And the reason it's a 50 amp is, again, they had a, a larger generator in the house, and it was wired in to my sub-panel here that has a 50 amp breaker. So, um, no big deal. I can leave the breaker. I can leave this connector on the wall. I just need to find a way to go from male to male, 50 to 30. All right, so what I bought is one, I need to get some length out of my cable here. So, I bought, let's get this out of the way. So I bought a 25 foot extension cable. It's a generator cable. So it's got the correct 30 amp plug on this side, so that'll plug into the generator. But then it's got the female 30 amp plug here which obviously doesn't work for me 
So what I could do is cut this plug off and then wire in a male 50 amp plug. However, it only gives me 25 feet minus, minus this much and I kind of need at least 25 feet so I can get my generator set up far enough away from the garage. So instead of hacking up this cable, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another cable that connects here so it'll have a male 30 amp and then it'll have a male 50 amp on the other end. So, um, so I'm going to just buy those parts. I think I can probably buy the parts for about 50 to 60 dollars. I just make a short pigtail connector or, or pigtail cable and uh, just uh, have two cables that plug together and uh, I think that's probably the best solution for me. So um, I, I'll show you the, the connectors and the cable that I'm looking at here in, uh, in just a minute. Alright, so the first part I need is a, a length of 10 gauge 4 conductor wire. So I've looked on Amazon. Um, I think I can probably go to Home Depot and buy it by the foot, but I'm lazy, so uh, this seems to be a good deal to me. Five foot, it's about what, about three dollars a foot, but um, that's okay. So it's S O O W cord. It's called S O cord. Um, it's ten four, so that means ten gauge, four conductor, five foot long and uh, it's outdoor and indoor so um, that looks to be perfect for my my needs um, and that's seventeen dollars so I think I'll buy that and then uh, I also need the two connectors so if we go here here is a uh, L1430P 30 amp connector for the one end so that'll connect to the end of my extension cord coming off the generator. Um, that accepts up to 10 gauge wire, so 10 gauge to 10 gauge is going to work just fine. So that's another $17.99. And then the last connector I need is the 50 amp male end. So this seems to be about the best uh, connector that I I've been able to find, I'll, I'll look some more to see if I can't find something a little cheaper, but uh, this is a 50 amp connector, 4 conductor, and it'll accept up to 6 or 8 gauge wire according to the description. So um, I only needed to accept 10 gauge, so that, that'll work just fine. So if I put this on one end and the other connector on the other, I'll have a 5 foot pigtail that connects to my wall and connects to my extension cord coming from my generator. And all told, I got about, what, 18 plus 18 plus 20, about 60 bucks in this thing, which is insane. However, it is what it is. So um, I'm going to go ahead and build this thing. I'm going to buy these parts. Uh, I'll get them here, and then I'll do another video of the assembly process. And... Uh, uh, make sure this thing is going to work. So, so that's what I'm up to tonight. Uh, just making some plans, finding some parts. I'll throw these in my list, and I'll get these on order tonight. And then hopefully by next weekend, I'll have the parts here, and I can build the cable. So, all right. So that's what I'm up to tonight, and uh, I appreciate you coming by and watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot more uh, projects, uh, obsessed DIY projects on the way, so thank you.